Not all the universities in the UK offer the conversion program for pharmacists that qualify outside the UK. So if you're a foreign pharmacist that is looking to practice here in the UK, you're going to go through OSPA program, which is a conversion course, and you go through a university for almost one year. So I'm here today to discuss about the four options you have and all you need to know. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Benita. I'm a pharmacist practicing in the UK and I tell you everything you need to know to practice as a pharmacist in the UK. So I've discussed other step-by-step -step process of getting registered with the GPH to practice in the UK in my other videos. So today is just about the universities you can go to, which one is good for you, which one I attended, so many of them one thing you need to know before we talk about the universities is that the eligibility letter that the gphc gave you only lasts for two years so you have just two years to secure a place in any of the four universities if you've not secured your place after two years that eligibility letter will expire and what that means is that you're going to start afresh and apply again, gathering all your documents again. I don't think it's a good experience and I think you should know about that so that you can hasten up the process, do what you need to do to get the course done as soon as possible. So there are four universities. One of them is Aston University. Um, it's a good university. The tuition fee is around £15,000. Uh, they attend a university days i think two or three times in a week and the other days for study self-study and any other thing you want to do for yourself um it's in birmingham so midlands if you're already around there it's good for you if you're coming from uh, outside the country it's also a good option you want to look at that there is also a uh, brighton university uh this one is closer to london i i believe and uh, they have other criteria apart from the um, GPHC eligibility um, process. So like calculation tests that you need to score a minimum of 60%. And they will also check your degree certificates to know if you have had up to 2-1. So they have their own, you know, little, little things that they consider. And they kind of rank it according to the, you know, uh, your performance so depending on how you performed on the interview and the calculation so they they choose the best student that's just a summary and there are fees also around that fifteen thousand pounds there is also university of health for share is also closer to london if you want to be in the london area or if you're already living around there is another is also a good choice um i know they do well because i know people that attended the university for that ospa program and i think their curriculum and their teaching style is also very okay you attend university two days a week apart from um except it has changed right now but from the information i have it's just two days a week and the other days could be online or your personal study day that's it so the last one is the University of Sunderland, which is the one I went to. Yeah, it's bringing back some memories because it was not an easy journey. But I mean, if I look back now, I mean, I feel excited for all the things that, you know, occurred during that phase of my life. So University of Sunderland is in the Northeast. It's close to Newcastle, if you're wondering where it is um it was the cheapest then when i did mine and i think that's why majority of people go for that university because of the course right now they they don't they don't have any course on their website because they are fully subscribed for this session i think their next session is um 2026 20, to 2027 so and they've not released the tuition fee so i'm not able to comment on what their tuition fee is but it's usually cheaper than other universities except they've changed which i don't think so about their curriculum they are very very detailed when it comes to you know teaching all the all their coursework it was very detailed i, I can say i enjoyed all my stay in the university because they will grill you in such a way that when you come out i mean you stand a good chance of passing the gphc exam at the very first attempt so i think they pride themselves in that and it's really good because when we compare ourselves to other students from other universities those years you see that they've not done much i mean they weren't doing much 
and that time we felt like the whole it was it was very tedious to be honest because you have to be in the university three days a week and i heard now that they go to university five days a week so just to let you know i mean if you're considering university of sunderland it's a good university but just know that they are going to drill you and uh, it's not something you can easily combine with you know school work family you can still find your way around that but during my time it was not funny it was not really funny and i think it's even worse now because if we are doing three days a week in the university and right now they are doing five days a week i wonder what it will be like but the only thing i can assure you is that they do very well to teach you everything you need to know and even beyond so when you come out you really know i mean when you're standing with other students they can't really compete because you always be at the top ladder i know people from other universities watching this video will be like shut up but <laughs> i'm saying from my own experience and i know that's the truth so apart from uh you know rent being cheap in the north is quality of life the university itself is okay and the uh, lecturers very supportive very helpful so you can go through the web their website and even other universities depending on your personal circumstances check which one suits you best and go for it but whatever you are doing just know that you have the GPAC gives you four years to complete both your uh once they give you that eligibility letter you have a total of four years to do your OSPAP, your uh, foundation training program, do the exam. You, you have a maximum of three attempts. So you should have completed all this process within four years. If you don't finish in four years, I don't know what your fate will be. But just to let you know that you also have, apart from the eligibility letter expiring in two years, they will give you four years to complete every other thing related to uh, uh, getting registered to train as a pharmacist in the uk and uh, to start practicing so whatever you are doing you have to like make out time if you're already working if you're a full-time employee somewhere you have to cut your hours so you'll be able to you know do the course and um, take care of whatever thing they need and do it and register as a pharmacist if you are coming from outside the uk to come and practice to come and do the course don't say i will just go to school one day we can use the rest of the other days to find money as you're finding money you're also placing the whole thing as risk because if you keep missing lectures not passing your exams or even the registration exam if you don't pass it after the third attempt that means all your struggles will just be in vain so that's it about the universities do well to go to their individual website look for yourself check which one suits you and go for it in my next video i'll be discussing the foundation training year and all the things you need to know to have a successful foundation trainee year as a pre reg pharmacist so do well to subscribe turn on the notification button so that you know once i release it and share like and leave any question you you want on the comment section i hope to see you again in my next video bye